Well, I've been working with Silver Clay for seven years now and um, I got started because I wanted to do silversmithing and I looked at silversmithing and I thought, do you know this looks like a lot of hard work and it looks like a lot of tools are involved and um, it looks like I'd have to get a big workshop and I just didn't have the space for it or the money for it. So um, I just stumbled across Silver Clay purely by accident and I thought this could be what I've been looking for, something that I can work with quite easily from my kitchen table, um, but produce precious metal jewelry with. Um, and I did, I found my niche, I found something amazing, um, and I fell in love with it from that moment. I love the way um, you're working with a piece of clay so you can sculpt it and make it into anything you want. Um, and you need very few tools to do that, but. The most magical thing about it is when you fire it and then you get a wire brush and you uh, basically turn this lump of clay into silver. Well, my new book is um, something that I've been wanting to write um, ever since I started working with precious metal clays um, and it's uh, all about silver clay, copper clay and bronze clay and all of the little quirks that each of these precious metal clays has. Um, and how you need to work with each of them. And what was great about the book was that I got to produce each project in each of the, the different metals to show how different they looked and how each one could be achieved. Um, just the fact that I'm, um, as part of a lot of groups on Facebook and a lot of forums about metal clay, and I see the same questions coming up again and again. People are scared of working with them. Um, people worry that they're very complicated, and I wanted to simplify and demystify working with metal clays to make jewellery. Um, you don't need to have any previous experience of working with any of the metal clays to get this book. Um, I've written it for the complete novice, but also if you have experience of working with any of the metal clays, hopefully you'll get lots of inspiration because I learned a lot from writing it as well. Um, my favourite project in the book is the mermaid pendant. Um, it was my favourite because I love mermaids and I wanted to create a mermaid and the publishers were so excited when I said I was going to make a mermaid and she turned out to be the most devilish one to create because what I had in my mind's eye didn't actually translate into the clay so I found a way around that. So she was a little stubborn project but she turned out really well in the end. Um, the best gemstones for metal clays are the ones that are, are, tend to be on the highest end of the most hardness scale, but not always. So there is a chart in my book that tells you exactly which gemstones have been tested and how they perform when they are um, added to, to metal clays and fired in different ways. Um, ones that I'm really fond of using are things like peridot and ruby and sapphire. They seem to withstand heat beautifully. The advice I'd give to somebody who wants to get started in, in metal clays is to just go for it. Um, you will never be perfect with your first attempt, or maybe you will, and, but that would be pure luck. So just have a play, experiment, learn from your failures as well as your successes, and just most of all, enjoy yourself.